This is absolutely thrilling. It is an honor and it is incredibly exciting to have you back again. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I have to say one thing. It didn't hit me until about 10 minutes ago. This is not fur. <laughs> <laughs> When we last saw you, yes. we were aware that you were an activist. As David said, we all follow you on Twitter. We all look up and know what you've been doing. But last year, when you came to see us, you had a particular concern, which you communicated incredibly eloquently to, to the global family, and it went out on the live stream worldwide, that you're really concerned about what happens to animals in captivity, yes. about easing their suffering, ultimately freeing them, maybe there'll never be animals suffering in captivity. Tell us about that. Tell us about what got you into that, what it means to you, and on top of all your other activism, that you took this one as well. Because um, well, I've, I've always loved animals, but you know, we all do. And I, someone, Lily Tomlin reached out to me about an elephant at the LA Zoo called Billy. And he had been by himself for his whole life, and he, all he did was sway, and that's all he did. And he had no contact really with anybody. So um, we all decided to go down and, and talk to the, you know, to the city assembly, and it didn't do any good because the LA Zoo had, they were all prepared, and they were just lying, and so it didn't help. So. Mark and I, this is kind of a silly song, I'm a silly um, <laughs> thing. Uh, we, we were in Qatar, and we didn't know each other, and we got mixed up, he's Bob Geldorf's manager, and we got mixed up in cars, and we were in the back seat just talking to him, you know, he was a stranger, and I thought, what am I gonna talk to him about? And <laughs> so we, we so. started talking, and he has, how, how many elephants have you, 350. 300, he saved 350 elephants. <laughs> Go, Marcus. And managed Bob Geldorf. <laughs> and managed Bob Geldorf. And the, the last one is more difficult. Much more difficult. <laughs> so anyway, so we started talking and I was mesmerized. I was just mesmerized. And then fade out, fade in. There's an elephant named Kavan who is in the Islamabad Zoo. And a lot of people were sending me messages, sending me messages, and then I said, oh, I remember 10 years ago when I met that guy, I'll just call him. Yeah. And so I called him and said, hi, it's me. Can you do this? Can you help me? Actually, can you fix it? And so hit it. Yeah, that's one of those phone calls you probably really shouldn't have taken. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, so that chef phoned me and said about Kavan, and I was to a degree aware of him. My involvement in wildlife started a long time ago with my partner Gina when we were involved in South Africa and we did game lodges and we did one of the greatest game translocations ever which was Operation Phoenix. We moved over 2,000 animals which included 350 elephants from Gonorrhoea Zoo which obviously stuck in Cher's mind. I'm not sure if that's good or bad but that was why I got the phone call. And. Um, yeah, so we, we had some knowledge and experience of those things. And it's funny, when you agree to do something, and you actually haven't quite weighed up the whole consequences of that <laughs> thing, yes. sort of say, yeah, OK, where is the elephant? Well, it's in Islamabad. Yeah, that can't be much of a problem, really, to go to Pakistan and spring an elephant from the Islamabad Zoo. And you start to find out there are a few problems in doing this and death threats and things that come with it. But I, I, I had to help. It was like. Cher was really concerned about this, and genuinely, I, I saw that concern, and I wanted to help. And then I thought about the things that we do, and the people who we know, and the networks available to us. And it sort of started, all these things started coming together. It was like lining up a planet so that we know these people, and they can do this, and they can do that. And then, lo and behold, we actually started making it happen. And it really started with One Young World. Well, that's really yeah. how in Ottawa. That's really how. That's what that's formalized how it, like, it. All of a sudden, we were kind of chugging along and chugging along, and then all of a sudden, we went there, and it was it was a completely new thing. It was the energy that came from these young people, 
you know, I think you sometimes need wisdom from older people, unless they're the president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. He doesn't have two brain cells to rub together, okay? So, um, is that too much for you? No. No, no. yeah. So, I, I know. If you ever see my Twitter site, you'll see exactly how I feel yeah. about him. Uh -huh. So, actually, he barred me from his. <laughs> he was saying all these horrible things about me, and I was like, okay, bring it. And so, finally, he kept doing it, and I tweeted him. I said, you know, dude, I don't think Lincoln or Kennedy would waste their time tweeting share. So, just, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so he just like, you're out of here. Yeah. But yeah, I could go on and on, but that's not what we're here for. So anyway, we went to One Young World, we met so many people, we found that there were a lot of people that we understood what we were trying to do, and, and, and we feel, I feel it really started with that. And we met, uh, the people that we met were so interested in trying to help us. It's I, true. I yeah. remember. I remember Cher saying. I remember when you you came back and you and you wanted to speak again, and and you came back and you said, you know, I know that you people are trying to save the world and save people and change human yeah. rights legislation, but that you felt so strongly about this thing, but that you didn't want it to be to seem like it it was misplaced. Right. And it was because amazing. I know it's so the response important. from the delegation it's, it's, was right. enormous. I didn't want people to think. I mean, you know, saving people is, is, is something that I try to do as well. All the time, right. yeah. all the time. And uh, um, like, there's many of us who are so upset about the thing that happened in Puerto Rico that we've gotten together mm. to put yeah, supplies and that. get a boat and send it, send it over there. So there are things you can always do. Even the smallest thing is, is, is gonna, if you can help one person for 10 minutes, it's something that comes from your heart and is going to make that person maybe remember it for the, for the rest of their lives. So, so this, you know, we, we got, <laughs> we, you found us, and, <laughs> and, this, and he went to Islamabad, and so everything is kind of coming together. It's so coming together. It's so sort of, where are you now? Sort of, what has happened to Kavan Well, I, I was just going to say, story. what happened really, I think, was One Young World last year formalized that which, which we were trying to do. Up to that point, it was very much a very small group of us trying to do stuff. And after you One and Young Jen. World, yeah, <laughs> and Gina and Jen. And, very small group. And, and yeah, Gina. It's pretty small, and Jen. So it's and four Jen. of us. So, yeah, and actually Hussein. So, yeah, <laughs> so there was a little group of us. But when we got to One Young World last year, suddenly we got all sorts of other support coming through. And we started to see that we've, we've got the ability to create something really important. It's more than just us working to save Kavan. Kavan's obviously very, very important, and he's why we started this whole thing off. And we have achieved a lot. He'd been chained up for seven years. He's been in the zoo for 30 years, of which the last seven he'd been in chains. He had no water. He had no shade. He was in really, really bad state. We he was in a little lean-to with the, yeah. being chained to this one lean-to for all of these years. And we got him unchained, and we got him water, and we got him shade. And it was really sad, because when they took the chains off him, and he started to walk, he still walked only as far as he thought he could because of his chains. He didn't realize he could go further. So for seven years, it's like, you know, who, who would be chained up for seven years? Who'd chain a person up for seven years? But we actually did something which was quite positive, and the next step is still now to push it through to complete freedom for him, which is quite close now. And that was what's actually happened, really, as a result of the things with One Young World. Marcus, when you say, when you say it's quite close now, January. and you were telling me the other day, mm. there's legislation and things that are uh, stopping you? Well, it's a whole process, not least of which, having already got the Senate to agree to free him, then they actually gave control of the zoo to the local municipality, and we had to start all over again, because it was a different bunch to deal with. So it was just, you know, is it, is bureaucracy in Pakistan. Is really with death threats? And really with death threats. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah, I remember yeah. Mark saying, and I was, I was worried about both of you, but you especially. You're worried but about her especially, <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, share especially, I have to say. <laughs> but is there anything our delegates and our friends in Pakistan and Islamabad can do to help? Yeah, of course, absolutely. People Where are you, Nyla? Nyla, is Nyla here? 
No, I don't see her. I just think there are a couple of people who there are a lot help. of people here, aren't there? They really, they yeah. really are. <laughs> how how come? Are you there? There you go. There you go. There you go. People who want to help in this summer. It's really good. Caroline only wanted five people. We want fourteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was thinking about who's in Pakistan specifically we, we, yeah, we, with we, Kavan. We've got really good help on the ground. But this is what's happening. But the, the initiative we've started has really started to gain traction. Now, a very large part of that is as a result of what happened here at One Young World last year. When we did our talk on stage last year, the next morning we came into the auditorium and a very lovely lady from Facebook was on the stage saying on behalf of Facebook, she's going to play support she's coming to us. On, she's she? going to come on in a moment. Oh, Yay, she? Lauren. So... It actually changed the entire dynamic because it, rather than just being like half a dozen of us shouting out abuse at the world through social media, suddenly Facebook became... No, we should be sort of, she's professional at that. <laughs> and so. you. Yeah, but it became suddenly connected. And as a result of that, we've become a hub where so many other groups have become involved with us. We've got specialists now joining us, um, like Scott Blair, who you met earlier, I think, yeah, who, yeah. who's with Glo um, Global Elephant uh, Sanctuary. He's, he's helping us move Kavan. All of these things are coming together as a result of the, what's happened. And we happened. got someone to donate a plane. We, we, yeah, we actually... Whoa. And Bruce, someone, yeah. not just someone, someone. <laughs> yeah, we, we pressed game to Bruce Dickinson. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Dickinson's right. going to send the plane to fit right. Kavan. Yeah, yeah. This is a one young world story right. or it, a it really, town story. It really, yeah. So we're going to go, it's a cargo plane, obviously, so we're going to pick him up in, in Islamabad and then take him to Cambodia. Cher's coming with me. That's cool. On yeah. the cargo plane, you two. Yeah. Oh, my I've Lord. Yeah. Been oh on my a car Lord. No, I've been on a cargo plane. It's not so bad. <laughs> Mark has. No. In Pakistan. No. I went on one to Armenia. It, it's, it's not so bad. You know something with you an said? Elephant. It was something you both you said, I think Cher said last year, but it, it certainly stayed with me, and I know it stayed with a lot of One Young World ambassadors who, who wrote in and, um, and got in touch with us and commented on it. They said, even if it's not my cause, the way Cher described cruelty made them look at things differently and really think, how would that feel? Even a human being yeah. chained up that you would do that thing to another living creature is just such cruelty. I mean, I go past the zoo now and I just don't look. I just sort of drive past like this because it's, it's really stuck. It's a really important thing to understand. I think this also the, what I really said that I think resonated was what would happen if your animal, if your dog, your cat, your, yeah. you know, your friend was chained up? You know, you would feel compelled. You would want to do something. None of us would let that happen. So I think that this is what we're striving for. And, you know, we're going to be getting him out in, in January. And this is going to be... A, it's going to be... But what's actually happened deal. with this it's is it, it's, 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 gone gone so, it's gone so much bigger than this because the problems at Islamabad Zoo are not just Kavan. But the more we've yeah, worked on yeah. this, it's the whole thing needs restructuring, there needs to be training given, there needs to be, the vets need to be properly educated. The people they've got working with animals have animal experience insofar as they lived in rural communities and looked after goats. That doesn't necessarily qualify you to actually look after a lion. So there's a lot of training for things. So what's for happened sure. now is this, this has also rolled out on the back of One Young World, is we've got people wanting to make documentaries about the work we're doing in Islamabad so be, we'll cool. actually That's use great. this whole process as a training process to actually show other zoos where they're going possibly wrong as well. So it, this thing is like snowballing beyond belief. Huge, huge. Can I tell you something that's my favorite yeah, idea, my favorite thing? We came up with this idea to build a building, the prototype, probably in LA because everybody in LA is crazy. So we're going to build this prototype and it's going to be not only a virtual zoo, it's going to be like a cool place to hang out, a place to buy swag, clothes and scarves and all that kind of stuff. And <laughs> it's also going to be a place where you can change if you, you know, one week it can be about, about the, the, you know, Native Americans crossing the plains, you know, and another, another week it can be about you know, instead of having SeaWorld, you'll be, able, you'll be able to go to a place, you know, that is the virtual reality of SeaWorld. And I think that maybe, especially with people now, younger people, younger than you, they're used to seeing, you know, virtual reality animals. Yes. And I just think it could be 
I want to do it in a building because, because I still think it could be a really good family experience for little kids and maybe for older people, older kids to kind of just hang out. But I, I think it's a way to get rid of zoos and kind of slide them out, you know? Yeah. Just kind of yeah. slide, slide these guys in and then kick their ass out. I think this is our ultimate goal, is to actually yeah. replace animals in captivity. Zero, zero, it, zero, it, the the zero, days zero, are over, really, yeah. for this. It's ridiculous that we're keeping animals in captivity for human entertainment. And it's unnecessary yeah, it now. There's, there's plenty of other options yeah. for us. In fact, we, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but we, there, what you can do now with holograms is absolutely amazing. We found a clip of this group who've done some stuff on YouTube, which I think they can actually show for you. Can you play that, that for us? This is so unbelievable. You're, is, I mean, it's, it's astounding. Can they have that? It, it may come. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yes. <laughs> Right. And that's what we want to do. That's what we want to do in these buildings. Yeah. Look at this. Here we come. Even the audience like duck back because oh my god, there's a whale coming out the floor. Goodbye, Sea World. Right. So long, Sea World. That's amazing. This is where we want to get to, even with Islamabad, we're going to take Kavan away and we're going to try and replace him with a different attraction. We're, this is what we're working towards. So long term, this is our goal. We will, it'll take a while to do it. I've, I've realized that when I said to Cher, there's no problem in going and saving an elephant. Actually, there's quite a lot of problems in going and saving an elephant. And it took a lot longer than we thought to do it. Everything we do, we've realized is much more incremental than we'd like it to be. And I think many of you yourselves here working on projects, you'd like to sort of get a quick answer, but it's not going to happen. It's like if you can get one step of change at a time, you're still going in the right direction. Sometimes you even take a step back, but together you keep going forward, you achieve something. Absolutely. It's, Absolutely. it's remarkable. Should we talk about the campaign now? Shall we? Yeah, because yeah. I guess let's Lauren's actually Let's talk about the campaign. Shall we get Lauren? Absolutely. Let's, let's I'll get tell Lauren. you who I also want to thank. Lauren, will you come up? Lauren from Facebook. A one young world ambassador from Facebook. I also just want to thank, before we get into this, I don't know if they're in the room, are Sephora and Sara in the room? They're working backstage because they're really working very hard because they're two people that are working with Lauren on this. So I just wanted to okay. say thanks, guys. <laughs> thank you. We know you're watching and you both have been absolutely brilliant. So here we go. This is now the other piece of the jigsaw puzzle that's created Free the Wild. In fact, this is officially tonight our launch of Free the Wild, because in the last year, we've got, had real problems forming the charity. We had great problems trying to get bank accounts for sort of charitable yes, companies. Yes. And we, it's taken a long time, but tonight it's all come together and officially Free the Wild is here. That's and it. tomorrow you can hear the song if you come. Yeah, and Cher oh. is doing the most my friend, fabulous, My fabulous friend song. Mark Taylor, who w worked on Believe, he, got, he came up with this song and it's really, it's a really, really beautiful song, so I hope you're there tomorrow. So that, how special is that? You'll be at Cher's first performance of this that. This is the first it's time so ever, live, ever, ever played in public. your closing ceremony. You are so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and Facebook are live streaming it to a potential audience of just over two billion people, so <laughs> <laughs> no, no pressure. No, no pressure. <laughs> Do you want to tell us sure. some of the things we've got to do? Some sure. of the mechanics? So, absolutely. Yeah. I'm very excited to be here today to help launch Free the Wild officially. We've done a lot of work over the last year. We brought Share to Facebook and we're able to meet with our team there to help learn about the platform and all of the creative tools that are available to tell the story of what Free the Wild is really up to, to free animals in captivity and to give them a life that is comfortable. And, um, and much better than the life that many of them have now. And so Free the Wild is officially launching. Tomorrow, we'll be putting together a breakout session of One Young World ambassadors and delegates who will become the Free the Wild advocates. Yeah. And that's more than five people. 
<laughs> that, well, yeah, we were teasing backstage that how do we follow that act? Yeah, of, we of want having, more. <laughs> so, so we're asking all of you to join. Um, so we'd love to have you come tomorrow, but the, really the mission in that is that there is a power in the global network that One, One, One Young World has, and we need all of you to help support this in your local communities, especially those who are passionate about animals and the mission that you want to maybe get a part of with One Young World. Today, we have a page that is on Facebook. I'd like you all to take out your phone at this moment, if you could. Why don't we do that cool thing we did the other night? Put the lights on. No, I love that. I love that. I thought it was great. Right. Yeah, look. So if you all go side. to Free the Wild, it's at FTW Global on Facebook. Follow the page. Mark's going to tell you about something really special that we're doing in just a moment. It's at FTW Global, Free the Wild. So, excuse me? Say it again. At F Free T the W Wild Global. Is that Morgan laughing at me? That's Morgan. That's my brilliant, my brilliant colleague over there laughing at me. Uh, it's Free the Wild, and there's a logo of a beautiful whale there. <laughs> but we really um, would like you to join us and follow the page. And we're absolutely excited that Cher is going to join us tomorrow at the breakout session. Whoa. So we hope that you're all coming Whoa. to that as well to join the community. And um, we can't wait to tell you more about it then. I don't know how you do a breakout with Cher, because you're going to need to be in this room, because they're all going to be there. What, no, they're all going to be with us. <laughs> Get your priorities right. <laughs> okay, the other part of this is, last year when we were on stage, we actually hadn't got a name. We were, we were the charity with no name. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we actually said to the people at One Young World last year, that you're a really bright bunch and you must sort of be fairly creative. So we've told you what we're trying to achieve and we don't have animals in captivity. And we opened it up to suggestions and it came up with Free the Wild, which is actually a really cool name, and we loved it, and we've adopted it. Now we have a new problem. We haven't got a logo. <laughs> so the this... kids in Ottawa came up with the name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so <laughs> this year's challenge to the people in Bogota is come up with an idea for a logo for us. You don't have to be the most amazing graphic designer. You can draw it on the back of your bus pass or whatever you like, sketch it out. We're looking for something that really is going to be inspirational, that's going to clearly define what Free the Wild's about. We had one sent to us already, but it's actually Free Willy. It's a jumping orca, which doesn't work for us. So <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. I'm so glad you said get, it. Get clever. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to sponsor the winning person to go to One Young World in The Hague. Whoa! <laughs> Brilliant. And that's going to be done, obviously, through our Facebook. So what do they do with the logos? Put it on the fa post it on the Facebook page? We'll give you all the logo details are on the One Young World website. So you can check out all the details there of how to submit and then how it will also be chosen. And as Mark said, the grand prize is a ticket to next year's One Young World. So who's cool. excited about that? <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Yes. I cannot wait. You can have a go. Do you hear that song? You can have a go. Just can't. I just can't wait to hear the song. <laughs> Do you remember last song year when we were in Ottawa and they were, as we finished Cher's session, everybody was shouting, sing, sing. Tomorrow night. <laughs> Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. We've been Tomorrow waiting night. for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, Maybe they're telling you to sing. Am I going to sing? Do you? I know. I know. I know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for having us again. Oh, yeah. sweetheart, it's, thank you for it's being wonderful here. To be here. It's a fabulous, breathtaking, exciting honor. You know this. Okay. We can't wait to help. <laughs> thank we you. Love it. Thank you all we really very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Please thank Cher. Give a big round of applause. <laughs>